This is Jennifer Nye with the Garden Grove TV3 News Report. Every year, kids and parents put on their favorite costumes and head to the Jack-O-Lantern Jamboree, where the city of Garden Grove transforms Atlantis Play Center into a giant Halloween party. So far, it's fun. She's having a lot of fun, and there's lots of kids, so it's great. <laughs> the park was full of activities for families to enjoy. Kids' faces lit up as they won candy at the game stations, and their trick-or-treat bags got heavier and heavier. Over at the crafts tables, children created gifts for their parents to treasure. <laughs> Sounds of laughter and joy could be heard coming from the bounce houses all night long. And at the far side of the park, a long line wound around for the train ride. The ride was so fun that children begged to go again and again. There was also a huge pumpkin patch full of jack-o'-lanterns and a fun photo op with King Neptune. <laughs> The highlight for many of the kids was the haunted maze. There were two levels of fright, scary or not so scary. You had to be brave to choose the scary one. So scary. I'm here tonight because I really wanted to come to the haunted maze. The sound of Halloween music drifted throughout the park and children couldn't resist dancing as they waited in line or played on the playground train first and then we played some games and she's kind of just slide and done some other things. I actually live here and I used to come to this park when I was a little kid so it's a great park. Take it! Help me! The biggest event of the evening was the costume parade led by community services mascot Super Rally. The parade was filled with pirates, princesses, witches, donkeys, aliens, and of course scary monsters. Parade participants held their breath in anticipation as special awards were given to the best costumes. In the end, everyone was a winner, and everyone took home a prize to add to their stash of candy and goodies. It was obvious that the night was a success just by looking at the smiles on the kids' faces. Well, we saw an advertisement down in City Hall, and we thought it'd be a lot of fun, and she loves this park, and I grew up at this park as a kid, so I'm excited to come here. Happy Halloween! This is Jennifer Nye reporting.